Hey friends, how you doing? Uh, happy Friday. I promised a while back that we would do another video about support and resistance, and it's time that we do that. We're going to go into the essentials of support and resistance. We're going to go back to some of this deep level training on how to do something. The video is going to be short. It's going to teach you the absolute essentials of what you need to know. I'm going to give you at the by the end of this video all the steps that you need to take in order to trade with support and resistance on a daily basis, start to finish entire system. So here we go. The first thing that you need when you're going to trade a system of support and resistance is you need a completely blank chart with nothing else on it. And so you just delete all of your indicators off the chart. The second thing that I think that you want to focus on is I think that you want to choose a, uh, I think you want to choose one time frame chart and do all of your analysis on that time frame chart. So like a 60 minute chart and use all, always use that same chart for all of your analysis and everything you do. The nice thing about the 60 minute chart is you don't have to look at it every minute. You don't do short term trading, which can lead to huge losses and tons of psychological debilitation. And you're focused on a time frame that's easy for you to come and go as you please. If you want to trade short term, you can use everything that I'm going to say in this video to trade short term charts. I just don't think that it's a great idea. I think that it leads to a lot of problems and can be really difficult and can end up making you want to jump out of a window. All right, so I say 60 minute chart works well, but you can use whatever time frame chart you want. I would remind you, I, I think you should use no indicators. Just absolutely no indicators except for support and resistance. You can look at price patterns and candle patterns, which are kind of an indicator in and of themselves. But otherwise, I don't want you to use any indicators or put anything extra on your charts or use anything for confirmation. This is a really simple way of looking at price action on stocks or currencies or futures or anything else you want to trade. And the, the minute you add anything else to it, you've complicated the methodology and I think you've unnecessarily made it more difficult for yourself. So I'll switch over here to the 60 minute chart. Uh, once again, you, we're looking at the Euro Japanese Yen right now, but we're also going to take a look at, for example, Tesla or stocks or maybe even oil for or the S&P E-minis. Okay, the first thing that you want to do when you start out, let's say that you're just starting out and you're just getting, you're at the very beginning and you're just getting your chart set up and this is the first time you're looking at it and you want to develop a system out of this and this is the first thing that you look at. Here's what you're going to do. You're just going to move back in time and I would say move back on a 60 minute chart, move back about a month, about 30 days to the beginning of the previous month or further. And what you want to do is you want to grab your trend line tool on your charts. And then I just want you to draw a trend line across the tops of some candles or bars. And what you're looking for are areas where price makes kind of an inverted V. And you want to draw a line over the top of those candles. That's the first thing. And you always want to draw a line over the top of candles that are falling. And you always want to draw a line underneath candles that are rising. From time to time, you're also going to draw a horizontal level, but I don't think those are as important. I think those act as really great stopping points and profit targets, but you don't draw those as often. In order to draw a horizontal level of support and resistance, you really you need a really deep valley or really, really strong mountain peak like this. Like these on the chart right here. That's what you need in order to draw those kinds of levels. So at the bottom of this level right here, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And at the top, I'm going to draw one right up here. And it's especially powerful if there are two hits on a level, or three. There's three in this case, one, two, and three. It's especially powerful if you've got three hits on a level. That's really fantastic because that means price hit up against a level multiple times and then couldn't break through that level. Now what we're looking for are moves above a level or below a level. So I'm going to make the uh, trend lines across the top of candles green and along the bottom of them red. I'm going to do that for a very specific reason which I'll show you in just a moment. All right. In this example right here, 
well, I'm just going to show you. You can see it on the chart. I, we didn't even need to go back that very that that far, really. Right here on the chart, you can see price breaking through our green level. I know I'm writing it in blue, but you can see it breaking above the green level. That is a buy trade. And what do you think our profit target is? It's that red level from earlier before. It's pretty brilliant, isn't it? It's pretty pretty amazing. But that's not the only thing we see on this chart. On this chart, I didn't even plan it this way. On this chart, we also see a break below our red line. That's a sell trade. And where do we want to sell to? Well, we didn't know this level existed right here. What if we don't have a level? What if we don't know how far price is going to go? What if we don't have any idea where price might go? There's a simple way, support and resistance, same stuff I've been talking about. You measure the most recent peak high that price made down to the trend line. And then you draw that same line or you just copy and move it over here and that becomes your profit target. So watch this. I'm going to draw a line. It's not going to be a good one, but I'm going to draw it. <laughs> That's terrible. All right. I know it's terrible. You draw that line from the, the recent peak down to the red trend line and then you just copy it over here and that's the extension. That's the measured move. That's just, that, that is right there. You can just draw your lines on your charts and then move forward and practice this and then you just go to the present day and of course we just had a flash crash so the chart is basically out of control. But even though it's out of control, if we wanted to start all over again, we would draw a trend line across the tops of candles here, and we're going to make that green. And then we might draw, you know, get some a line up here. We're definitely going to put a horizontal line down here at the bottom. And then um, we don't see any, look at this, we don't see any real serious valleys along here. Really small ones for short-term charts, but nothing major. So we don't have a good trend line underneath candles right now. But we do have a buy trade potentially setting up if price breaks above this green line. Now let's switch over to a stock for those of you that trade stocks. I don't care what stock you look at. It doesn't really matter. We're going to do the same thing here. We'll go back in time. I'm just looking at Tesla. I don't really care. We'll just go back in time here and we'll draw this is a perfect area right here for a horizontal line above. This is a nice area for a horizontal line below. And then we're going to draw a trend line above these bars or candles. And then we're just going to move forward. I don't know why that red box just <laughs> appeared on the screen. Look at that. So price breaks above the green line and it starts heading upward. Now, if I don't have a, a level to trade to, if I don't have a profit target to trade to above where I am, I once again, I just take a measured move. I draw a line from the recent valley up to the trend line, and then I just set the profit target at that level. And it looks like price makes it almost exactly to that mark. That's an easy way to trade. And you could trade this with weekly options if you want to trade with options. And the same is going to be true if you want to trade futures. This, the same exact thing is true if you want to trade futures. Nothing changes at all. We can draw trend lines underneath price. That's going to be a red trend line because it's underneath price. And Here's another red trend line underneath price, perhaps. Not a really great one, but we'll go ahead and draw that one. We don't have anything moving down, so we can't draw a trend line above the candles. But look at this. We have a break below this trend line. And where do we want to trade? Well, look, it's obvious that we want to trade the ES down to this trend line here. Perfect. And then price is going to bounce around that trend line really easily. Now, where do you put your stops in a trading system like this? just above or beyond a recent swing high or swing low. We can go back to that Tesla chart if it's still around, and I can show you where you might put the stop loss on the Tesla chart, right here, below a recent swing low on that chart. Now, from start to finish, that took us 
nine minutes. All right, it's more than five minutes. It didn't take us very long to do that, but you've got a full trading system here that you can practice, play with, and work with without any indicators, without anything special, without any special charts, and you can trade three or four of your favorite financial instruments. Uh, would love to hear your comments. You can leave a comment below this video and tell me how you're doing, what you think about this. If you want to see more content like this that's hardcore training, I'm just trying to bring you great content. I'm just trying to bring you great stuff. All I want to ask you to do is subscribe to the channel and hit the bell on YouTube. That gets you a notification anytime I go live and anytime I put out a new video. I'm Rob Booker. Thanks for being here. Love you all. Love the heck out of you. Have the best day ever.